This video is about calculating compound interest variables using Excel. We have the following question. Edward invested $40,000 in a fund offering a rate of return of 9% per year, approximately how many years will it take for the investment to reach $67,084? Write down the variables we have in the question. In cell A1, write PV which refers to present value. In cell B1, write 40,000 which is the present value amount. In cell A2, write I which refers to effective annual interest rate. In cell B2, write 9%. In cell A3, write FV which refers to future value. In cell B3, write 67,084 which is the future value amount. In cell A4, write N which refers to number of periods, in that example it is years because interest rate is expressed per year. In cell B4, write equal. NPER. Open bracket. Choose cell B2 which refers to the rate of return. Write comma. There are no periodic payments so write another comma. You could write zero as well. There is a negative relationship between present value and future value. For example, if a person makes a deposit now in a bank so it is cash outflow for him and in the future, he will get the deposit back with interest which is cash inflow for him. Consequently, Write minus which states the negative relationship between present value and future value. Choose cell B1 which refers to present value. Write comma. Choose cell B3 which refers to future value. Close bracket. Press enter. You will get the number of years which is 6 years. Number of periods is in years because interest rate is annual so interest and number of periods have the same time unit which is years.